Hello, I want to say thank you for tuning in to Renee's Space. Hey, I'm Ashley, and today I will recreate this dish. It's a crispy yolk avocado toast by Food Muse. Yes, and I also will be rating it from 1 to 10. So let's get cooking. She is the co breadcrumbs. I ended up making my own breadcrumbs, but too. Why this is a bread? I toast and they became like really brown and hard. So I crumbled them up and that was made uh, to be my like overcooked the yolk because I did not heat up my oil in advance. So I just let the egg yolk stay in the oil. I rubbed a, a raw garlic on a piece of bread. I didn't, so I should make it just garlic powder. But I still got the same results to take some the garlic on the bread. So here are my thoughts on this crispy yolk uh, avocado toast. First off, I like the concept of this um, appetizer, breakfast, piece of toast, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I like the texture. Definitely love the, f the flavor from the yolk. Love a yolk, love avocado. So I was really like happy that it did taste really good. The salt, the oil, the crunchiness, the, the softness of the avocado, everything. Um, note, I did overcook my um, yolk for sure. I, it wasn't runny. That was my goal, but I, I could overcook it. I wasn't sure like how long to cook it and I overcooked it. Um, the bread of choice I used was sliced white bread, not the hard break your teeth white bread she used. That bread good too. I didn't use raw garlic to rub on a, a piece of toast. I used powdered garlic. Um, I think this appetizer does require too much oil. Cause you gotta fry the oil, fry the egg yolk, and then you put some more bread, more oil on the bread, and then you top it off with more oil on top. Way too much damn oil, way too much. I see it's just being fancy. Okay. <laughs> um. Overall, I rate it a ten out of ten. I definitely would do it again, but I will minimize the oil usage that it required from the video with what I saw. Not so much oil. I would just put just a little bit to toast the bread, to fry the oil, the yolk, and that's that. But then it's really good. I don't even want to use no cheese. Some stuff don't require cheese. It seems like all these recipes be asking for so much damn cheese to be constipated. Who needs that? But off the rip, fantastic fucking appetizer. And I never recommend someone to try it. If you like those two, if you like avocado, if you don't like avocado, try it you never know so i just want to say thank you for watching this video for this long okay stay tuned to other episodes and new episodes that's coming up so have a good one toodles